guys, this is the moment of truth. So, I've got my uh, keyed igni ignition wire soldered in for my voltage regulator. such okay now the other thing I haven't shown you is actually what I've done so this guy I have the part number there I might flip that around for you but probably not um, and I've seen other guys use this and it ran high for the volts so I'm running around 15 15 and a half something like that which is a little bit much for my battery um, as you can see as well have uh, added a second wire and that goes around and directly into my battery post okay not only that but I actually attached it and grounded it to the alternator itself okay so I got more than enough ground obviously so if I am running too high of volts then uh, it's got nothing to do with my wiring because as you can see I've got uh, Lots of continuity there. All right, let's turn this thing on and see if it'll work. And it's, I don't know what the temperature is today, but it's way too cold. Probably should have had this thing plugged in. All right, now I gotta make sure I unplug my, my uh, that's how I used to have it hooked up. Oh, come on, there it goes. Climbing until you get that line, just before the line. Oh, it stopped. That's good. That means that the extra, uh, the heavier gauge wire brought that bolts down a bit. That's really good. So let's see. Here. Oh, this is really good. Everything's working. like I said uh, up, like it, it was going over 15.6 which is the maximum on this thing so it was peaking and it was also pulsing all right so my pulse is now done because what I did is well oh I should show you I think can I um, yeah I had this thing hooked up that's what I used to use right so instead of using my ignition wire I have it hooked into my cigarette lighter turn it on and off and then this wire was attached kind of loosely with an alligator clip and uh, this is bare wire like that. Okay, and that's how I had it hooked up and I was running pretty high volts. So you can see now why you need a good connection. So I'm really happy about this. I mean, a better voltage regulator or the proper one is obviously the way to go with a, you know, replacing your $1,200 ECU and everything else. But for my $35, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, I think that I'm over and out. Uh, you can like and comment and subscribe and all that crap too if you care. You know, 